hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the coffee with coaches podcast i am your host kevin i have been recording podcasts all day today and as you might be able to tell as you listen to these in order i am more and more enthusiastic and maybe more and more caffeinated than i should be but then again you know i put the coffee in coffee with coaches today right now i have the honor and privilege of having lynn jacob with me Lynn, for 19 years, has helped several thousands of technicians turned contractors finally have successful businesses. And I'll use her words to describe this. How? First, triple profits. In under six months, Lynn's trade contractor's business training has tried and true, rubber hits the road, simplified business strategies. Finally, her clients join the 20% of business owners with a lucrative retirement, which is kind of the goal for many of us, isn't it? Lynn, welcome to the podcast. I'm excited to talk about you your journey, your start, your present, and your future. (laughs) Well, thank you. Thank you so much for the invitation to be here. This is is going to be a lot of fun. I can feel it. Oh, excellent. Well, let's let's get started at the beginning. And I'll I'll ask this as a kind of a two-part question. How did you figure out, discover that you were a coach, that you had that you had certain skills, certain certain abilities, certain passions that just prompted you to realize that, oh, I'm a I'm a coach and I should do this. I should start a business. I should go forward. How did that all start? Well, I had already had a quarter century career in law firms. I was like a chief cook and bottle washer, as I would call myself in law firms, legal assistant. And I went off to figure out what I wanted to be when I grew up. And I ended up teaching English as a second language. And I happened to be in Belgium at the time when I heard of coaching for the very first time. And I was at a a grand opening for a new small business. And so anyway, that's when I heard of it. And so the next day, instead of going back, which I could have done to, to see more, you know, services they were going to be offering in this business, I invested a lot of time researching coaching and how to become a coach and all that stuff. Because when I heard about it from this coach, I went, my God, I did that for years in this law firm, you know? And, (laughs) and so anyway, I had the wisdom to know that that's not quite enough, you know? So Hmm. I, I did all this research on a Sunday. And by that Wednesday, I was giving my credit card number over uh, at one of those teeny little pocket cell phones that we used to have and <laughs> unheard of, you know, pull over the side of the road to answer the call. And then I'm giving them my credit card number over the phone. So <laughs> with it, because the, they had space in the next program and it was happening within a week or two, something like that. And, and if I waited to send them money and all that stuff, I might lose out on it. And then it would be, you know, months down the road. So, so that's how I became a coach. I, that's how I learned about it. And, I, and so then I studied in the UK hmm. and yeah, so that's, that's what happened. And then I, and then I moved from Belgium back home to Canada um, hmm. shortly thereafter. I kind of, while I was still there in Belgium for a few months, I kind of tried to launch the business, but it's like, you know, there aren't, in, I don't know enough people who speak English and I'm not going to want to learn the language, the vocabulary in French, although I do speak French very well. And I actually do cl- coach clients in French, but I don't train in hmm. French. So it's a one-on-one thing. I can have conversations easily, but it's the vocabulary of the training that I just stick to English for that. Yeah. That's, that's, that's fantastic. I like, there's a couple of really cool insights there, really strong insights. I love how important it is to like, when you're starting a business, like you can, you can speak the language fluent, fluently, whether it's an actual, like a spoken word language, like a cultural language, whether it's like sort of a business language, like the ins and outs of something. But there's just something about if you're really trying to start something new and you really want to set yourself up for, for success, start at your home base. You can always grow out or grow back into those places where you first got the idea. But I really, I really like that the way that you were, you realize that, you know what, this is just going to be more powerful, more effective if I go back to my home base and plant my feet where, you know, I know that they're firm, so to speak. Um, mm-hmm. I love that. I really love that, how representative that is of your coaching. Mm-hmm. And I also love that you really, you struck while the iron was hot. That was like, you know, it's like you, you look back now and you can see your long journey to sort of already having so many attributes of a coach, things that you were doing naturally just by your very, by your very personality. But then once you realized, once you saw the opportunity, you were like, this, I, this is it. This needs to happen. I have to go for it. And I love it's like Sunday to Wednesday. You know what? <laughs> That's I'm gonna, me. I'm gonna go after it. <laughs> I <Yeah>. love that. <laughs> good. So yeah. let's talk about where you are now. Like what's your what's your business look like look like now? And I like to, I've been starting to ask this question as sort of like a little two-pronged simple question. Who do you coach? How do you coach them? 
to like the, the who, like what niche, what professions, what roles, what desires, what kind of people do you coach? And then how do you coach them? Whether it's primarily one-on-one, -on -one, maybe some small to medium-sized group coaching, maybe like keynote speaking, all of the above. So yeah, who do you coach and how do you coach them? Okay. Well, when I <laughs> came home, it, well, <laughs> yes and no. When I came home, I launched my business and I was bunked in with my mom. But, you know, like, you know, an adult sort of thing is, I mean, my children were adults, so I couldn't just go back and live with my mom, you know, boy, did I ever see that in a few months. But then, <laughs> then uh, I started building a house. So I was launching my business, working with small business owners, and I was attracting clients like right off the bat, which was awesome because I knew almost nothing about marketing and nothing about sales. And anyway, I started building a house and then I started attracting contractors. In fact, the first contractor was my mason contractor. So that's the basement of the house or the foundation of the house. So he was not the first contractor who built the road, the laneway into it, but so then I just started attracting contractors and I happened to be coaching three at the same time. So I was doing one-on-one -on -one and with everybody up to this point. And I happened to be coaching three of them at the same time when I went, geez, you know, they're struggling with the same, they have the same struggles, struggling with the same challenges and none of them have any options. They don't know. This is the way it's always been done. I don't know any other way. Mm -hmm. And so I would kind of have to lead them down the path. Well, let's, let's imagine like a lawyer, for example, you know, these people are coming to talk to you about building this dream home on a lake for them. They're coming from, you know, two, three hours away. Do they have a lawyer? Do you think where they are? Or do you think the lawyer is where the property is? Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, 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 you know, it's like, he's thinking you can, you can see it through the phone. Right. And it's like, <laughs> well, no, I know their lawyer, you know, is, is in this city area, you know? And so it's... what do you think? Does their lawyer see them on Saturday or Sunday? And so it's like, they just never thought that they, they couldn't, it, it just wasn't a possibility. So anyway, I created a program called the trade contractors business college. I love and, it's, that's perfectly described like that that role of guide that a coach plays where it's like there are just there are certain people they understand that there are that there's something that they're maybe not missing but they're just not seeing that they, they don't they, they can they can feel the absence of something but they don't they can't even identify what it is and a coach comes in and does exactly what you do you just you ask those questions it's like so what about this? What about that? And before you know it, you're essentially guiding them, leading them down the road to greater understanding, to being able to see farther ahead, to know not just themselves better, but the people that they're trying to serve better, the people that they're working for better. And it's just, I, I love that. Like you can, you can sense it. You can see it on their face over the phone. That's perfect. <laughs> Cause you can totally hear it in the voice. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. I'll tell you, one of my uh, guinea pig clients ended up becoming my son-in-law and father <laughs> of three of my grandchildren, but he spoke very little English, was in Canada when I was in Belgium. Remember, guinea pig clients, you need to practice, right? And, mm -hmm. and, and I, I could see, you know, just, yeah, I, I can still see the moment when he had this light bulb moment and he's in Canada on the phone and I'm in Belgium on the phone. So, yeah, I, I am very visual, obviously. <laughs> That's really what it's like when, when it, I love the terminology, the, using the term when it dawns on you. Like mm -hmm. the same thing as the light bulb moment. I just love that that dawning because it really is like a great light coming up over horizon where you're just like, oh, I can see it now. I had no idea. And also it's a little awe-inspiring. It's you know, it's warm, it's bright, you can see the way forward. I just oh, I love, I love that. that dawning. So do I, so do I. And you've just, I just love I love your description of it because it's just given it the warmth, even. Yes. I, I yeah. Mm -hmm. Not just the light, but the warmth. I love yep. that. Thanks. Of course, yeah, please sure spread, it, spread it far and wide. I, yeah, I'm sure we're all use it, Kevin. <laughs> yeah. That's one thing I do love about these conversations is that there's, every coach I speak with is so distinct and different, not just in their personal journey, but their approach and who they serve best and how, the, how they go about serving them. But there's also these, this, these commonalities that every coach I talk to has, this, this realization that they had something to give back and the desire to serve, and then identifying where and how they could do that and then going about it, these these building up of a structure, something specific to who they're trying to serve, but also just based on some very strong general principles. And also this passion for helping people find that dawning moment, that light bulb mm -hmm. moment. Mm -hmm. Every single coach I talk to, it's, it's not just something that they like, it's something that they love Absolutely. and they want it and they love to share it. And it's, it's, 
it's so, I mean, it's, you know, not, the, not to be corny, but it's very inspiring. It's very inspiring. And I feel like mm-hmm. it's just, it's, it's such a lovely rising tide, this whole coaching industry. And I just, I love, mm-hmm. I love that you're a part of it. And I love that we get to talk about it today. It's pretty fun. <laughs> <laughs> likewise, likewise. On let's, yeah. let's talk a little tiny bit. I, I, this time has flown by. We'll talk a little tiny bit about what might be coming up for you in the not too distant future. Is there anything on the, not, not, no pun intended on the horizon for you in 2022, <laughs> a new, a new course, a new, a new something. What, Talk about we'll talk about what you might be excited about in the next six to twelve months. <laughs> All right. Well, it just so happens, and and yeah, I could go in with a long story, and I'll do my best not to. But when God gives me a message, or spirit, or or the universe, or whatever you want to call it, my my inner being, when I get a message, I know better than to say no, and I know better than to say okay later. Hmm. So. I stepped into it and holy Hannah, is it a lot (laughs) because, because of where my business is now. So you kind of asked, you asked me where my business is now. Mm -hmm. I have the business now that I tell my clients and been telling my clients for years that they could have. And my client, a few of my clients are stepping into that as well, because we've been, we've known each other for long enough, or we've been working together for long enough. Mm -hmm. I coach three days a month. And one of those days is a light day compared to the other two. I know. And my marketing, there hasn't been a thing sent out for me in two years. And for the last five years or so, I would say that the only marketing you're going to see is on LinkedIn. And it's just the odd client story or something that I feel inspired to put up there or whatever. And in maybe November of this year, of of 21 or, or early December, maybe, I put a post on LinkedIn, I remember saying I have space for two more clients, if anybody's interested. And Mm -hmm. early in 22, those spots are full. Well, Hmm. spirit, so now I got it. Now I got to stretch my calendar because spirit told me when I got back from a big, a big tour of, you know, where not where I am, but I had gone somewhere and then where I was there. When I got back, Spirit just gave me this overwhelming inspiration and enthusiasm to resurrect. It was it was teleseminar. So this big trade contract, trade contractors business college that I created is so much fun. And and it's four times for two days, four times a year, two days we get together for training and and group everything, you know, and sharing and all that stuff. And so then after a bit, I created a teleseminar version of that, much shorter, of course, and no travel and opened it to everybody, not just construction. And so I did that for years and I loved it. And then it just, you know, it was just, it's time to, I guess I wasn't marketing it either. And it was, it's time to, to just come to an end. So that was fine. And this is what spirit has told me to resurrect. And the, the amazing thing is, is that when I, you know, put it out there to my list, 20% didn't exist anymore. So you know that 80-20 rule. Mm -hmm. So this is why spirit, I I totally got it. This is why spirit is saying, hey, you've got to get back out there. Like much as you love doing what you're doing, you got to get back (laughs) out there because you're still here to serve. So I have been marketing that over the last six weeks. And I'd said that I coach three days a month and I do no marketing well. For the last six weeks, I have been working some four and five days a week and some days, many, many hours, you know, because that's what it takes. So at any rate, that's the exciting thing for me in 2022. (laughs) And and if the program, if the program gets launched or it doesn't, because there's a minimum number that Mm -hmm. I insist on being in it for the energy of the group and for the benefit of everybody. Absolutely. And if, if it doesn't launch, it doesn't launch. It's, it's no big deal to me. I've learned a lot in this process, learning, you know, what it is that uh, I needed to learn, obviously. But other than that, yeah, yeah, that, that's enough. And, and yeah. the other thing is, is two people have come to me from my marketing this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't have space for them <laughs> in one-on-one. So I want this program to happen so that they can come in and uh, work in this group program because it will benefit them until I have a space to do the one-on-one again, you know, but uh, yeah. yeah, isn't that a I love that. And it's, it's always, it's, 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 I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> An embarrassment of riches. It's, it's, it's really, 
it's always, I don't, I don't know if it's a challenge, it is, it is challenging, but just that the power and the potency of the one-to-one -one coaching and how much, how, how much good and how much service you can be for someone in that, in that, in that avenue. And then having, finding ways to translate that into something a little bit that can reach more people mm -hmm. without compromising the, the power and the passion and the potency of the one-on-one -on -one coaching. And it's always, it, there's always a trick to it. And like, as someone who speaks multiple languages, that, that art of translation, you know, where you're trying mm -hmm. to translate what passes between you in a one-to-one -one environment and still have that represented and have that happening in the larger environment, even though it's going to look different. And it's like, and I, I just love that you, you basically just answered the call. You heard the call and you answered it and you are, you're going for it. And as it works, it works. And you go that direction. If it doesn't, there's still all these other effects that have come from it that you've embraced. Exactly. It's just such, it's just the perfect way to go about it. I just, I, I, no question there. I just wanted to say, I love it. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Yeah, no, it's this, this one person in particular. Yeah. I mean, if, if nothing else, it's to help this one person in particular who I've known, you know, for years and we did talk two or three years ago, but for whatever reason, he just didn't reach out to me until he saw my marketing and, and it prompted him to reach out. And yeah. So, you know, cause I, you know, when I work with people, you know, like, I mean, one guy, one guy called me, you know, his big sister, he felt like I was like his big sister. <laughs> another person said he felt like I was his aunt Lynn and, you know, another person, <laughs> you know, like, like I'm your sister or whatever. And, and we do, it's, it's a, it's a loving, intimate relationship because I, we get intimate about their business. What's stopping them? What is it that's truly stopping them? And I have helped, you know, I mean, I don't want to go into it too much, but you know, like sometimes I just push the Kleenex box over to them, you know, like, do you want to bury that or do you want to get rid of it? You know? So yeah, yeah it's deep so work. It's excavation. It is. <laughs> is absolutely. <laughs> we're, this is already, I, I would love to just chat with you all day, but okay. we're, we're getting pretty <laughs> close go. to time. Before we go, I do want yeah. to ask you, where can people find out more about you and where do you have any social media where you like to engage and connect where people can message you? You have a website that people can go to, to find out more, maybe sign up for stuff. Tell the people, tell the people where the, where to get you. <laughs> All right. So the website is MLJ. That's like Mary Lynn Jacob, MLJ international.com. And they can sign up there. They can get some, you know, free training that pops up, you know, or whatever. I'm on WhatsApp. So, you know, just send out, but also LinkedIn. Link, that's super simple too. So Lynn is spelled with an E, L-Y-N-N-E, Jacob, just like in the Bible. And the um, WhatsApp, yeah, is, yeah. is plus one because I'm in North America and 613-484-3861. Okay. And I'll make that sure that I see all the time up. because I've got my cell phone with me all the time. And it, it uh, you know, never can't go anywhere without it anymore these days. <laughs> well, I'm taking pictures all the time. I mean, this is the winter right? months and I'm in the warm temperatures. So I'm taking pictures <laughs> everywhere I go. So, yeah. Lynn, this has been great. Thank you so much for, for, for coming to the podcast today. It's been fantastic to talk with you. It's my pleasure, Kevin. And it's been a thrill for me too. I really enjoy it so much better than the marketing I've been doing all day. So <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I see no reason why this can't be fun. We can get, we can get good things done that benefit all parties involved and, and have a good time, not yes. but, and have a good and, time. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Yep. And Thank that you, is, Lynn. that happens oh. to be my slogan, Kevin is fun. Oh, yeah. Fun has yeah. never been so profitable. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. I think I might have the title of the podcast then. Fun has all never right. been so profitable. All right. There we yeah. go. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you, audience. <laughs> we'll talk to you again soon. Hope you're having a great day.